Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. So, um, good luck. I'm thinking I want to try to play, well, I was going to say center file rook, but you know, they seem really committed to this idea. So fine. <laughs> Accidental symmetric game, here we go. But, yeah, I'm not wanting to hang anything in the opening. So, we will play this symmetrically, at least for a couple moves. If I play the rook to the third file, then there becomes this wrong diagonal bishop stuff, and it gets complicated. And we've all seen that in game one on a day, when I seek something extremely complicated in game one, things don't go well. So we're going to calm down a bit on game one today and just see how it goes. Um... This diagonal continues to remain open the whole time here. I don't want to close it. I kind of want to move my rook over now that doing so isn't going to hang tons of pieces. All right, finally I get the, my free tempo. Um, mm-hmm. Next question becomes, what of, like, alright. I mean, arguably I just gave away a pawn. Maybe in hindsight I wouldn't do that every time here. If I had the same position a, a dozen times or a thousand times. Maybe I'd play it differently each time. <laughs> I forgot that the rook is defending the silver. Um, not that that's anything fatal, but it would have been nice to remember. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, here we go. Opening a diagonal toward my knight. Yeah, this allows the opponent to exchange off the rook pawn. Um, I think I gotta defend this. Oh, I didn't even need to defend that. Alright, well... Yeah, I'm all turned about. I'm all turned about and confused and such. I should not have defended this. Um, but it's okay. The fork could not be more obvious. Alright. Um, their intention is good. They just momentarily forgot about the thing. Um, I'm not saying it's an obvious fork. I'm just, okay, thanks for the game. I've fallen for this many times. But I'm saying there isn't a more fundamental form of it. It's a learning experience we all go through. Good luck. Um, sorry, I'm a bit dazed after that first game. Forgive me. 
Um, interesting. Okay, we've got tactics here today. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so they defend their king. I need to consider defending mine. Whoa. Well, that is a move. It's definitely not the move I expected, but sure. That's... Since I'm playing Gota, I don't want to play anything wildly aggressive here. At least not for a couple moves. Um... Let's close this diagonal toward my king. And then try to figure something out. Um... It's kind of a hot mess. But it's my hot mess. <laughs> Alright, so they've not pushed this point, so I can take this point. Um, interesting. I see we're going places today. Do you suppose we'll get the same tactic we got the last game? Wouldn't that be an experience to remember? Alright, let's activate my rook. What a mess. All right, so my rook. Oh. Wait. That's aggressive. Um that's very aggressive. Nanafun. Did they intend to play something this aggressive? Maybe so. Alright, back I go. I'm gonna go hunt down this gold. Because I can't seem to find anything better to do with my time. Um... All right. Welcome. Hello.
It's a mess. Okay. No, well, it's not the right time to push that then. Gofun. Hmm. All right, we slowly advance. Yep, I'm well aware of that fork. Um, All right, our opponent is playing quickly the entire game. If there's a bonus for that, I'm not aware of it. Something. No. We have a unique strategy today, don't we? Nifun.
1分30秒1分。30秒。That game was rather fast paced. Good luck. <sighs> so, <laughs> you know, at some point. If this action ever calms down, I might get a word in edgewise. But Shogi is war. Um, if chess is a battle, Shogi is a war. Like, these conflicts go on for many, many moves. Winning a single piece, even a very large piece, is not going to shift the entire tide of battle all in one move. It's part of what makes this game complex and beautiful and exciting to watch. Um. Oh, interesting. Um, I've done something quite similar before. All right, I'm going to expose my rook again. Um, bishop. They do something, I push. Hmm. I mean, let's do it. It looks interesting. I forget about this again. But it's okay. Um... Hmm. Well, that looks sharp, doesn't it? Um, let's try to defend my king. This pawn isn't uh, yet something they can take. They'd still need to defend this square. I guess they could drop a bishop on this square or something like that. Um, I 
Also, could I drop on this diagonal? What would happen? They'd retreat their rook. Alright, so maybe that's not so great. Pawn is worth a thousand golds, they say. But you never hear about a site where you can exchange cash or pawns for cash. You hear about this site where you can exchange gold for cash, but not one for. Anyway, I've ruined the wordplay and the pawn. Alas, I tried. I could retreat the silver and try to bring the rook over. Maybe that would have been interesting, although the silver in the corner is quite sad. Advancing the silver opens up this hole. Um, But maybe that's what I should have done, is bring the silver up here. That way if they take here, I drop a bishop here. Oh, they drop a bishop there. Oh. Hang on. This is more complicated than I thought. Um, hmm. Rook takes bishop, bishop takes silver takes, because if rook takes, we have to repeat the fork. Oh, never mind. This simplifies my process. Um, suddenly there's not as much for me to consider. But yeah, actually, this is effective on their part, isn't it? Um, hmm. That's quite smart. Nanafun. Okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't lose too bad for me. Um, Alright, we're going to activate the knight. Which, yeah, this makes my position more and more volatile every move, but... Um, they got me in a tough spot. So what can I do? Maybe I could have taken this. I was looking. It didn't look favorable. Plus, I thought this might happen. Um, not sure why I thought this could be better for me. But, there's always hope.
5分うん。I might regret that later. And not even that much later. It's just, this is not an easy position for me to figure out. There are many competing interests. I'd like to activate my rook. I'd like to activate all of my pieces and attack this king, which is in the center. I'd like to block their rook. But everything in this game has a price. Um. Alright, so first we're going to force this bishop away from my lance. Force is an interesting word. All right. Um, my silver is hanging. Let's take care of the silver next. Okay, and then we can exchange a rook for two bishops. I'm sorry. Uh, we're not getting the second bishop, are we? All right. Well, I was close to understanding that. So now I'm threatening a fork right back here and encasing my opponent's king. Whether or not there's a fork, their tr their king is still trapped. Um. Well, that's a tough choice. I did not expect to be making this choice today. Um... Actually, that's not a hard choice. So rook drop is the next idea, but then I can take here. I might even be able to take the rook. Um, my head hurts. <laughs> oh, this position is something. Um... All right, I think this is the right way about it. We're going to find out momentarily. Something. I'm pretty sure I have some... Oh, bishop drop doesn't mate. Bishop drop, king over doesn't mate, but it's still the best way. Um, bishop drop king takes. Dragon takes king over. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the game. Alright. Sharp, sharp stuff today. That's when you got to practice your mates, by the way. So, um, yeah, hopefully we all enjoyed this series here. Uh, one game is like a devil. Well, sometimes. It's uh, it's something you got to learn how to find game after game. Because if you can find these key sequences, then uh, in future games you don't quite struggle as much. Hopefully we enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.